I have been hard on the HomePod and Siri, but this update is one of the best ones Apple has brought to the HomePod. Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I get excited about tech and seeing what it can do for us. If that sounds like something you're into, stick around. HomePods. They've been very polarizing. Some people hate them and others love them. Some see them worth the price and others just think they're way overpriced. The competition has been offering more and more features with their smart assistants. I tend to use Amazon Echoes or Google Home, but the HomePod does have its place. The thing I like about the HomePod is it can fill some gaps as an iPhone user that Amazon Echoes and Google Home can't. But with this latest 13.2 software update, Apple is bringing some features you'll not find on Amazon or Google devices. Now you can use Handoff. The way Handoff works is you can touch your phone to the HomePod and it will transfer audio. Now let's see it in action. I'm gonna be playing part of the Craig's Tech Talk podcast. If you haven't checked it out, there's links in the description. Please give it a listen if you like it, subscribe. So here we go. Hello friends, welcome to another episode. Transferred of the that easily. Tech Talk podcast where we talk about I can things. pause here. I can play and pause the here. World of tech and hopefully provide a little bit of I can turn up the volume. I can control it. everything there um, or if you're new here, my name is Craig. Do it there. A... Let's stop that. Next, let's try a phone call. Try calling my wife. She's not ready for this. Hey, I need to practice or try transferring a call for my video. You're actually being recorded right now, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna transfer it. Here we go. Transferring the phone call. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Now I can. Okay, you're in the video. I just had to wait for it. transfer real quick. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> hi, everyone. Okay. And then now I can hang up on her. Goodbye, honey. Love you. Bye. Bye. And that's it. Phone calls that easily. Next, let's transfer some music. I'll start playing a song. Right there. If I want, I can pause it. Start it. Stop that. You know what's cool about that is I'm not playing that from Apple Music. I'm actually playing it from a web browser, from a service that I use for my videos. So here's the web browser. It is being played through Safari. That's right. Audio doesn't have to come from an Apple service. This is great. This is what's impressive to me beyond just being able to transfer it is I can open up my audio book, open up Audible, not Apple books or audio books. If I start pressing play, here's my book. Of your purposelessness. Transfer it, put my phone down. Of your egolessness, your self abandonment, or whatever you like to call this state. How that cool. That state is stillness. How cool is that? I don't need to buy audio books from Apple to be able to hear it on the HomePod. Let's see, one more. Here we go. Here is Do my YouTube app. So for privacy, you can mute the microphones within the app. But if you do, you will not be able to make calls with the mic muted. There's even the option to press and hold. I can transfer audio from a YouTube video. Maybe I don't want to see the video. I just want to hear it. And I want to hear it on better speakers than what's coming out of my phone. That is cool. That I like about this new feature. So. Boom, mic drop, Apple laid out a good one that the Echoes and Google Home aren't doing yet. So good job, HomePod, you did nice. So as you can tell, I think this feature is pretty awesome and I think it's very useful. I like it and can see using it a lot for when I'm walking around with my AirPods in, then coming in here to work and wanting to continue to listen and just being able to transfer it over. This also brings something to Apple users that you're not gonna find on other smart assistant speakers. 
Yes, you can use Echoes and Google Home devices as Bluetooth speakers, but you can't transfer calls from iPhones. So again, nice update, Apple. You did good on this one. Also, with the recent updates, you get more functionality using shortcuts. I've just started playing with shortcuts to automate tasks on the HomePod and trying to use Siri more. It does add extra functionality. Let me know if you'd like to learn more about shortcuts and what they bring in another video. So what are your thoughts on this feature? Are you going to go out, buy a HomePod, and toss your other assistants in the trash? Probably not, but let us know what you think in the comment section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here if you'd like to see the AirPods Pro in action. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please subscribe, come on back and check out a future video, but click that bell so YouTube will actually notify you when those videos come out. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.